thank you. Thank you for the invitation. So um, I will try to avoid to repeat what has been already said about uh, tax effort. Moreover, this uh, topic, uh, I worked on this topic uh, several years ago. Uh, when I was at the IMF uh, and uh, we were building a database before the ICTD effort to build a database, which is now the UN uh, Government Revenue Database, the big issue uh, by this time in 2015 was to distinguish tax revenue coming from non-resource sector and resource tax revenue, which raised an issue. So the tax effort is not the famous uh, tax revenue to GDP ratio, which has been used by, uh, which is still used by a lot of donors, even by the IMF. I remember a mission chief who wanted to improve by two points of GDP uh, the tax revenue. Uh, over a program with a, with a country, with an African country, and it's very frequent to have this kind of pressure. And don't forget, it's another paper that I did also, uh, that a lot of donors are tax exempted. So the World Bank, the EU, and so on, raise, but it's not tax, uh, tax expenditure, because all tax exemptions are not considered as tax expenditure. It depends on the benchmark tax system. Whatever. So uh, the idea was uh, to measure the, to, to, how to say, to raise this issue regarding revenue resources, uh, uh, resource revenue, and how it impacts um, the famous tax, tax revenue to GDP ratio through an analysis of um, tax effort. But tax effort, I will, uh, we, we, you already observed, it's a very uh, purely economic approach based on econometric. Uh, uh, tools, instruments, stochastic frontier analysis, we use this. You can imagine a random forest, uh, data mining, a new very fancy uh, uh, approach uh, with AI, even uh, maybe tomorrow uh, chat GTP, GPT uh, using all this data, this macroeconomic data, which are available online. Uh, so the tax effort, maybe it's interesting to raise some difference between countries or difference in the, in the history of country, but it be, may be complement, it's complementary to another, other analysis, like uh, tax gap analysis, and uh, of, of course, all the tax policy and revenue administration di diagnostics. Uh, the tax effort rely to the notion that the tax administration or the revenue agency, which is uh, not the same model, uh, have more or less some inputs, macroeconomic inputs, and will produce this tax revenue to GDP as an output. And so all this input, all these explanatory variables, uh, there is an open list. Uh, it depends on, uh, yeah, in the literature, uh, it's uh, not an uh, uh, ended uh, list. So you have the level of development, trade offness, uh, the size of the agricultural sectors, natural resource, of course, and financial, uh, other financial development. I uh, pinpoint insist on this issue regarding natural resources, revenue, oil, and mining, because uh, commodity price is almost independent, al al almost everywhere independent of any effort of the tax administration in developing countries. Okay, the commodity price is worldwide determined, except in s very few uh, examples like Earth, uh, rare earths, but it's a China issue, or uh, it's a worldwide issue, but. Uh, China who's decided not to export and so on. So the, um, the now, uh, of course, the UN wider government revenue database uh, distinguish uh, this uh, resource revenue from non-resource revenue, which is very important because non-resource non revenue uh, may depend more, much more on the tax effort from the, from the authorities. And I will also uh, pinpoint another issue regarding uh, what we, do we mean by authorities? So the approach was in this paper, uh, a stochastic frontier analysis. Um, uh, moreover, we produce um, a website where uh, everyone is able to replicate the analysis to, uh, with R Shiny, which R is a, a free software, which is a replace uh, Stata, which is replacing Stata. And R Shiny is a package which allows you to produce uh, a nice website uh, based on your empirical analysis. 
Um, so uh, the methodology allows to, of course, uh, of, of course, it's a Kumbaka approach of uh, stochastic frontier, which allow you to distinguish persistence uh, factors from time varying or uh, country varying effort. Um, tax uh, effort, uh, what we have as the results, but I'm very going very quickly. We covered only Africa from 1980 to 2015. <coughs> Sub-Saharan African countries, we exclude of the North Africa brand, uh, part. Uh, the top performers were uh, Mozambique, by this time Burundi, Togo, Senegal, and the worst were, of course, uh, of course, uh, natural resource-rich countries like Congo, Chad, Gabon, Nigeria, uh, where the, their tax efforts uh, were measured around 30 or 40 percent, less than 40 percent. Uh, yeah, so the main... Uh, uh, I mean, the main finding of this paper beyond, right, again, uh, putting in, um, trying to build this new database, which is not anymore a new one because the paper is already quite old, was to raise this issue regarding the negative impact of natural resource uh, on um, tax revenue to GDP ratio. Uh, so there are several explanations in the literature. You have, uh, of course, uh, this crowding out effect of uh, resource rent on uh, non-resource revenue. Uh, I mean, uh, government uh, having um, natural, there is a famous example of Saudi Arabia tax administration, which became in the 70s uh, uh, more or less, uh, not anymore a tax administration, but uh, spending an administration, uh, providing uh, revenue or uh, cash transfer to, uh, families, uh, to some families, to some uh, uh, people or whatever. Um, another, uh, that's another uh, work that we are doing uh, in Clermont-Ferrand is linked to this uh, negative, to explain this negative impact and to go beyond the resource curse, standard resource curse analysis or the Dutch disease, which uh, which explains this, um, this resource curse through the monetary, uh, some monetary effects, we may emphasize uh, that this, uh, in resource-rich developing countries, you may have a competition between ministries. That means uh, it's an example of, uh, and that's explained at the end, the low tax effort. The Ministry of Finance is in charge of the tax, uh, of the tax policy in, in general. But you have the ministry in charge of the mining or the petroleum sector, which will produce a mining or petroleum act or code. And this mining or petroleum code will provide some tax incentives, some tax break and so on, in exchange of some royalties, which is going to some special uh, <laughs> account uh, to finance part of the ministry in charge of the mining, or the civil servants uh, uh, working in the ministry of mining or petroleum. Uh, of course, the solution will be uh, the, the Nor Norway uh, solution, which is uh, creating a sovereign fund. It has been done, for instance, in Chad, and this sovereign fund has been used to buy uh, military helicopter to keep uh, to, to to keep the power in the head of the in the hand of the of the of the of the president um, of the previous president, which is dead uh, not so long time ago. <laughs> That's a, so, I mean, even creating freezing resource revenue like, uh, by creating a natural resource fund like uh, Norway managed to do is not so obvious in, in uh, developing countries because it relies all, again uh, on what we always said, the quality of the institution. And the a natural a resource fund, a natural uh, resource fund may be diverted from uh, its initial purpose. Uh, I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, the paper in the reference, and I can provide you the website uh, where you can uh, download everything, uh, the, the code and the data. Uh, just to finish the tax effort, it's a macroeconomic approach with empirical analysis. You have to take into account also what is the underlying social contract. I'm coming from France, I guess you <laughs> understood uh, with my good accent. And in France, the uh, tax ratio to GDP, uh, the tax revenue to GDP ratio is above 50%. But the social contract is that everything should be provided by the government, by the French state, okay? Another model is, uh, is not obvious in developing countries that university should be free. 
completely free. It's not obvious, uh, like in France, that uh, hospitals should be completely free, or almost f completely free. So what is a social contract? In South Korea, the tax revenue to GDP ratio is below uh, 30%. Okay, in the US also, uh, you can... So beyond tax effort, wh what is... Uh, what you want to do with your money, with the tax revenue. Okay, thank you.